So welcome all. Today we are uh, going to see something about naming and resolution. It is a very simple concept where you have to understand that uh, there is some resource, some host, some nodes. They should be named, and there should be a proper mechanism to find the resource from the given name. Right. So this is something today we are going to see where. When we are talking about the names, we must understand that uh, every entity should have a name, right? Should have an identifier with which it could be identified on the network, right? So you would have uh, seen file names. Every file which you are storing in the computer, they have certain kind of name. Okay. For distinguishing between names, you usually keep to their uh, different extensions. Dot uh, exe, dot pdf, dot doc, or different kind of things. Right. So, other kind of possibilities of the names are for URLs. You would have seen the URLs, different kind of domain names, like uh, something dot com, local sub dot com. Okay. So, such kind of things, uh, different kind of Possible names are there. So everything uh, when you decide to have uh, on network, you try to have a particular identifier for them, and you call them names. Now these names can be pure or non-pure here in our case. We call a name pure when it is uh, simply uninterpreted bit patterns, which just Something. Okay. This something will be, will help us in uh, finding the will uh, help us in okay finding the address of the object. Okay. However, there is something called non-pure names. What it does, it also contain information about the object. Okay. Information means uh, usually uh, the location of the object. Oh, non pure names are actually uh, referring to the object itself. So, however, um, in pure names, they uh, refer to the address of the object. So, here uh, you see pure names, uh, what they does, they refer to the address. Now, because of this thing, when, we, when they refer to the address, now uh, in that case, there can be some problem that uh, the object may be relocated from that place. So in case of relocation, you can understand that if you have a name which refers to the address uh, in spite of the uh, actual object, in that case, you will keep referring to the particular uh, address. And at that address, uh, what will happen? Some other object may be found, right? So, in spite of um, uh, just pure address, although it is a small and just an interpreted, uninterpreted bit pattern, if you will have a non-pure um, address, non-pure name, it will have the location of the object along with uh, the object. So, uh, you may prefer non-pure uh, names. Basically, if you want to compose the uh, names along with see if you have a domain name along with um, some more information. In case for recognizing a host on a network, your URL will be enough, right? Just a domain name, just domain name will be enough. You uh, give something pdks.net to reach that particular host. However, along with this, you are giving some more information. After IP address, you get something called port number and other path name also. So what happened? With your um, IP address, you can recognize the host. Okay. However, if you want to reach the particular resource, you will need some more information as uh, a port number and uh, more specified path. Right? 
uh, such things are uh, possible in main mode. What the uh, resolution mean? So, if uh, you want to translate your name into data, right, then uh, this process will be called as resolution. Mm. So, here you see, we say that a name is resolved when it is translated into data about the name, resource, named resource or object. Often in order to invoke some action. Okay. So, basically if you want to translate uh, the name into particular data about the named resource or object, then you are calling this process as a resolution. So usually what happens, this uh, name is uh, associated with some uh, object, right? And this is called binding. So, you see, in general, names are uh, bound to attributes of the named object rather than the um, uh, implementation of the object themselves. Okay. So, what happens? An attribute is the uh, value of a property associated with the object. Key attribute is usually the address. You know, in our distributed systems, key attribute uh, will be address. So basically, what we tried to learn here was two things, two simple things: naming and resolution. Where uh, uh, name is something given to identify a particular host or a resource, as well as uh, resolution is something which is a process of uh, translating your uh, name into the particular data about the named resource, right? So basically, uh, the data can be, as you see, the key attributes uh, are possible. So some attributes are possible, key attributes may be um, the address of that object. Mm -hmm. Other related information can also be accessed using the name. So this is something uh, that we wanted to see in naming and resolution. We will see the next thing again. Thank you.